Right, but your whole thing is how firm you are even at night when everybody else is yeah, that, if, if, if you're not, if they're not getting night, it, you know, gas to burn. Out of our control, but we're still available. If they have any issues, we can ramp up if need be during that time. So the issues with your plant anyway, should be in your control. Your okay. Hmm? Well, Jasmine's here if you want to read her questions. <laughs> I sent you guys questions online. Yes, she did, Sarah. I mean, I'm calling you a middle Jasmine, name. her middle name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Sounds good. Thanks for... Uh, Thank you that. for actually being, a, being courageous and reading them. Great. Amazing. Mm. Uh -huh. I have a question on the yeah. ramping up. This is why I was looking that up. You said, oh, we can ramp up. How, how does that mean, ramping up? What is that? So how can you make that number higher? You know, so example, like let's say we're doing 30 megawatts, right, steady. And then at night, when the load is put down and everybody turns off their lights, it's too much power for the grid. So HELCO has controlling units that will lower the power <coughs> output and govern the output. And we are a rare geothermal plant that works with HELCO to be able to govern that. So in AGC control, they could actually bring our plant down to a lower output, let's say 27 megawatts. Have and they'll write, they'll write it out <laughs> until they need it, you know, and normally, 6 a.m. or so, when everybody starts turning on lights, is when it would wrap up the full capacity. So is what have, I meant. Have they turned you down? Have they? Yeah, in fact, even with our low power output right now, only 35, we were curtailed yeah. the other morning. So, I mean, they it depends on what they have availability on. And, I mean, you you got to figure too, Helco has a big, a big load that they have to have on standby, right? Because it almost doubles during the day. At night, it goes down to 90 and then. Peak day, maybe 200, but then they also have solar that kicks on. You like those questions, Mike? Too. And then so they have to have all that standby power, which is very costly also to have available. And so they have to have that all in idle, right? Depending if boom, a cloud goes over, storm comes in, wind slows down, water slows down because it's unreliable. So they have to have that fluctuation, and that's what we help control that grid for stability too. So both both solar and wind are, are regularly curtailed because their awesome. outputs their outputs during the day can well exceed consumption. Electricity is one of those things that where what goes in and what goes out have to be balanced, and um, you know it's it it happens all the time where production exceeds what people want to consume. So it it ends up either being shut down the production ends up being shut down or they literally ground the electricity they just run it into the ground okay here's a first question for you guys thank you when will you folks stop ignoring all reports of sick residents who call and email complaining you can't find any of our reports, including my own begging you guys for a week in January when my daughter was H2S poisoned, diagnosed, and on a breathing machine for days at urgent care. Still, to this day, not one single checkup. No one ever called me or checked on my baby who is still getting sick at least multiple times a week. So we, you know, at PGB, we value the concerns and complaints of all our community who live our residents. Right? Our commitment to the community starts at the plant. Safety, environmental for our employees. Shouldn't it start with the people, though? If we take care of the plant who is at ground zero, then it rolls out to everyone around us. If we are safe at the plant, that equates to the folks around us being safe. But we're not. No. We're not safe. We're safe at the plant. We are not. The community is not. You guys are paid to not, you know, be sick or whatever. Oh, yeah. Okay? We are sick. 
We parked around. This was like street. crazy. Listen, whenever stuff happens <clears throat> at PGB, we always get the OH, <clears throat> excuse me, the the other hour. Those are all who I tried in January, a week straight. Every single one of you guys in the authorities, I was writing a week straight. Nobody ever came. It, the air was brown. The air, we could see it in the air, okay? Like the, the haze or whatever. Like it was brown. Nobody, a week later, the only one single person that wrote me back was Hawaii EMA stating, oh, we forwarded your concerns to PGV. I hope your daughter's okay. I said, why would you do that? I've explained PGV doesn't respond. They don't reply to me. Nobody came. Still to this day, not one checkup at my house. And we are getting sick a lot downwind. You guys have to monitor this shit. All those fissures in Leilani, my other question. Yeah, Sorry. Back in January, the contacts you guys have for PGV on your... And them, everybody, everybody. Everybody. Yes, to PGV. Yes. Yes. Um, I never contacted you about that. No, at the next meeting, you were saying, we always want you guys to tell us, and I'll personally come there. And I said, well, please, personally come, because nobody came last month when we were sick. So I'm still waiting for somebody to come do a welfare check. Yes. That, my, that day you guys kicked me out was because my daughter is sick, yeah? So I'm passionate about this when you told me to leave, yeah? Remember, I was born and raised like at a sunken in base of this plant. So you guys can't lie, like, you know, it doesn't go over my head like most other people. Yeah, I got you. So, can I ask me the next question? Thank you. Are you folks aware that a massive human rights health class health. action lawsuit is about to be out against you? Mm-hmm. Are you guys aware? No. There's so many people in the community that have signed up for a class action. Okay. So we are hoping Thank to go somewhere with that. Thank you for that. You guys are not, you're not no, acknowledging no. anybody. And everybody is fighting for so long. I've watched my community for 35 years okay. fight just to breathe, brah. So whatever we need to do to address that, we will. Whenever we yeah, when the time come. comes. So I just didn't know if you guys were aware. Like you just continue on like you're going to expand and stuff, but you don't acknowledge the people. So something got to happen. Okay, next question. Okay, yeah, thanks. How can you folks sleep at night knowing you're poisoning generations of local families? I think that's in line with that was, yeah, that was more of like a rhetorical. But there was a couple other questions, like the Leilani. I asked you when you're going to allow USGS to monitor all the fissures that are gassing us 24-7. Or when will you guys come monitor them? So I think we explained that in our yeah, that's private property. Nah, everybody there wants you to. Well, I know, but it's private property. That's, it's you you know, guys say you're going to come to private property to monitor when people complain. So no one has. USGS, we've allowed USGS to go in and, and take samples. They've, well, they act like it doesn't exist. They don't even acknowledge any of them. The cover-up is so royal of this. They don't even acknowledge those fissures. But if it stinks at the park, they don't let people come and look at Pele and Hale Mau Mau because it's smelly. But those are in our backyards in Leilani. Oh, I would agree to that, though, right? You're saying you're concerned about the fissures, right? I'm concerned about my community, the humans. That's a monitoring on those fishes. Yes, you. thank I would you. Love to if I get access to the private property. You have property access. Line. Come on, you have Most access. Stop, lying. Stop, lying. Stop, lying. Stop lying. Stop lying, bra. You have access. Once we get the road in, we have better access. It's like 20 feet. You guys got your road in one second. We're still waiting for a road. We would die, Mike, if something happens. You realize that, yeah? We would die. There's hundreds down there that would die trying to go all the way to Kalapana and up because Kilauea Recovery won't give us our road. Well, you should have been here. Oh, right. you should have been yeah, yeah, finally you it's doing it. But that means, you know, that means nothing. January when we here. see it, Six we'll years. believe it. That means nothing. We just spent the past two years working so closely with FEMA to try to get this road. Yeah, I'm sorry. It really does. With this community, only actions mean. 
next year. Yes, that's and great news. I saw that. Yeah, it's good news. When it happens, we will celebrate, Fantastic. but not we'll now. Right. I'll celebrate too. Can't wait. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait indeed. I don't know if you guys had brought this up, but have you looked into other blended uh, um, thermal energy conversion systems? Like, for instance, the open versus like your zone closed using geothermal as the closed unit. I don't know if you're still injecting into the well yes. to get your pressure. Have you thought about like the open cycle? uses just water and sets it up in the vacuum chamber so that the boiling point will be lowered using the geothermal to heat that and then use that steam and compression to run your turbines yeah. and blend it between the right. geothermal so and the open side. We, 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 we are, we are uh, no. able we are able to have open systems because of the... No, open meaning that it will use like It is water. open, it's seeping water out everywhere. Well, but if it's in a vacuum chamber, it'll boil at 100. You can get the geothermal temperature 200, uh, 100 plus to be able to boil that water at just water. And that's yeah. what they call it open. And then it dumps it uh, to run the turbine and then you've got your power. Yeah, so we, we bypass that open system you're describing and we just use the heat from the earth to, to, to turn the turbines. Right, so right now you're, you're using some kind of injected... We don't inject oil. nothing. You don't, we except don't. for water or... But what we inject is what comes up. So what comes up is hot water we and steam. Inject nothing. We use the heat content to generate electricity. I thought they used the all the chemicals on the website. Is what's we inject it to get the steam. Yeah. So why aren't you saying he doesn't yeah. inject anything? Um, uh, extra, extra. He's saying that as far as oh, okay. whatever comes up, so they just put it out. Working, and they're just putting in the turbines and everything. They found that the caustic chemical reaction to the turbine is getting eroded away quicker. Well, the pentane exposure. Yeah, but we, 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 yeah. Yeah. But still, yeah, yeah, they do add the okay. soda. Mike, can, may I please ask, why is it that you state you folks inject nothing when there's caustic sodas, there's pentane, all this is involved in what you do? Okay. What we inject is what comes up. Okay. okay. In addition, to address corrosion, erosion, and piping failures, we add oxygen scavenger, we add caustic soda for pH modification. Mm -hmm. So we do add, in the scheme, what did I say, how many gallons a day we said, Paul? Four million gallons a day, we add, lucky if it's 100 gallons of this additive. Okay, so to say we don't inject anything is not accurate, correct? If well, there is inject. some injecting of well, it. We inject everything that comes up. Yeah, yeah, well you just said we don't inject anything, so I just want to make sure. So I think I'm wondering where the chemicals are that are making us sick then if you don't well, inject listen, anything. Let's clarify this. Were you saying we inject so that the, the, the when, thing can get hot and come back up? No, no, no. What were you when saying? I, when I came before, yeah. there was a big uh, PGB protest and everything because there was a uh, complaining of a certain chemicals being pressed in or okay. injected into the hot areas yeah. so that it would uh, accelerate the steam collection. Oh, yeah, yeah. We don't want it. Okay, else. I understand. Uh, uh, yeah. Going into aquifers, whatever else is down there. So we, yeah. Eventually, I, I got it. Up there, we, do not, we do not inject any additive to get more steam and whatnot. We, oh, yeah, we, yeah. we just, the well, additive we use yeah. is to prevent corrosion. Oh, yeah, I mean, my, my, I'll just what you know it. <laughs> Stand in front of the camera before you leave. You're starting a collection of those pictures, huh? You never sent me the last one. Let's see you in here. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you are. Anything else, anybody? I'm sure you oh, are. Oh, what do you have plan for Thanksgiving? Hopefully not being yeah. sick you from you guys. Ass. Fucking okay. A, man. Right. Like, seriously, <laughs> brah. Fuck. Uh, I'm sorry. No, we truly uh, wish everybody a, a truly safe and happy holiday season. Honestly. For more hearts. When you're reworking those other injection wells, which ones are they? We're looking at doing maybe KS21. Uh -huh. And it would be uh, probably changing the liner or something like that. Because the liner's got a crack in it or something. 
We do have, it's a new well, mm -hmm. but we do have uh, nitrogen. So what we do to protect the water table is we have a double wall, right? Yep, and your annulus. Is nitrogen, mm -hmm. high pressure nitrogen. And so we're leaking off nitrogen. And so to prevent that, we're looking at changing that off. Right, right. There was one question you didn't uh, read of mine. The well, the 13, the, the magma oh, breach read one. It, read it for us. Um, you have it. I don't have it. But it was about regarding the breach of the 2005, you know, that KS-13 well yeah. and how the EIS states it's just a well in service. It says nothing about it being uncapable, nothing about it hitting lava and covering it up for three years until yeah. San Francisco reported on it. How is that just a normal active in service well when it's a live active magma well or like a magma under there? So there's magma under there. I understand uh, that, but you guys breached it for the first time in human history, yeah. Uh, and I you can't it, cap it, supposedly. In, in, in Hawaii history, yeah. Yeah. So how is that just like, you leave that all out in the EIS, it just says that's an active well. Isn't that dangerous? No, uh, the well actually kept itself off, and, and the magma that came up solidified. This time? Well, it's in service. We've been using it. Wow. Yeah, because you can't they cap it, the heat of the sun. Jasmine, yeah, they plugged it, it and re-drilled it another way. Okay, okay. But supposedly you couldn't cap it. I thought it was the heat of the sun they were saying. Okay. We can cap it if you want to. The heat of the sun? What do you guys use to cap that? That doesn't melt. Like live magma? Yes, that's hot. Yeah. It's called plug and abandon program. You can look it up with the other Larry probably knows it. Wow, okay. Shoot. Look, there's a blessing. Amen. It's Thank good. You guys. How about Ben's questions? Ben's questions is highly technical, and uh, if you read the email, I told him I could We have a perfect person here. We talk to our geologists. And oh. Our we'll be on the CC, guarantee <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. Oh, yes. Yeah. So uh, you were kind of talking a little bit. I don't know how to phrase this question, but you were kind of talking about how uh, the geothermal plant uses so much power uh, and they can get regulated and then help cut you back or whatever but if this plant wasn't here what else do they use is it oil oil yeah well, they have solar they have big solar panels now on their but they make yeah. but the sun comes makes more money by shipping the power that's made here over to the hotels because they get a guaranteed profit on the line loss. So the further they ship it, the more power they lose. And they the more get a guaranteed profit. Mm -hmm. And the more we are sick. How does that work? The more we're so sick, the, the more money they make. So they, so yeah, the utility likes the They like shipping. Next question. We 